Long Island Corvair Association. <laughs> that was 1995, I think. Well, I've been here for half an hour, and I just heaved the friggin' battery over my head while lying on the ground. We've got friggin' squirrels. Oh, boy. I have no idea what's going to happen here. I got the key somewhere. Oh, what do we got here? Spare key. Yep. Going to crank this burner up. Toro home. I drove this back from Long Island in 1995. Spare tire valves. Woolworth. Yep. Marketed by Woolworth Company. F.W. Woolworth. Yep. Nineteen ninety six. And the invoices for my gasoline purchases are still sitting here. I was getting ten miles per gallon, but the bills are all faded. Faded. Can't read a thing. So I had to slide underneath this thing upside down, put the battery on my chest, and heave it up into there. What a spot for a battery. It wasn't friggin' easy. Look at this tire. I think it's flat. These tires were brand new. They have 300 miles on them. Three, 400 miles. Junk. Oh well. So, I'll put the battery cables on and we'll crank her up in a minute. Kingsway Glass, Vancouver, British Columbia. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Here's a bus ticket to New York City, Greyhound Lines, 1997. Uh, $41. 23rd of April, 97, 8.50 a.m. Anyhow, got some gasoline. We'll pour it into the... Uh, float bowl through this little vent. I have no idea what's going to happen here. I'm going to catch fire. Oh yeah. Some kids found their way in here. Door wasn't locked and smoking cigarettes in my friggin' motorhome. Mm hmm. Better safe than sorry. Yep. I've had my share of fires, including one in my tornado. Alright! Crack this bit up! I'm afraid. <laughs> Crack it up! Ha! <laughs> it freaking runs! I don't believe it. Hmm. How do I get in here without... <laughs> Take the fire extinguisher with me, I guess. She's going to start! <laughs> it's been at least five years since this baby ran. Tight squeeze. Crack it up! Sneeze. Yes! Oh boy, the gas is far away. Oh. Too bad I haven't got a live feed on a head cam, huh? Bounce the camera here.
Oh yeah. It's flooded now. This is what an American engine needs. To be flooded with lots of gas. Cigarette ashes. I can't believe kids are smoking in my friggin' Toro home. Crack it up! She's a runner! And she's dead. Crack it up! Choke pull off works. More fuel! Heard mugs yipping. What am I doing? Smoking up the whole yard? Nope. Go on, mugs. You okay, baby? Did you see a cat? You got hit by a cat yesterday. Got him on the friggin' ear. Poor baby. Crank this baby up. This time I'm gonna bring the gas with me. Get in and out of here, is a Tight squeeze, you gotta go by the engine department, put your feet around the steering column. Fill the carburetor up with more gas! Luckily I brought five gallons. Four fifty-five! Crank it up! Horns on the engine were rocking back and forth. This one's got pine cones. Oh, gas everywhere. Ready? Some heat in the air and some fumes. Hey, it's like driving a Corvair. Yeah, crappy heaters and Corvairs. Go find me a Corvair that doesn't leak something. Oh, I'm through a pint of gasoline. Oops. Gauges, air conditioning. Yeah, I wish. No air conditioning here. Crank it up! Out of gas. Oh yeah. Squeeze out the last drop. That's it. Put some gas in the tank. Right, gross, blow it up! <laughs> it runs. <laughs> I wish I could sell it. Anybody want to buy this lump of junk? That's it. Out of gas. She runs. She's a runner. What's Muggs up to? What you up to, Muggs? Did you see some little animal? All right, I got to put some gas in it. I'll be back.